everyone, it's me, Mix Lydia, and welcome to the Mix O Lydian. Today, 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 I want to start talking about Black History Month. Now, Black History Month is the entire month of February, which is really exciting because we're gonna need it. The African American community has had a major influence on music. There are so many different styles of music, and each week we're going to be highlighting a different aspect of black contribution to American music. So, why not start at the beginning? Today, we're going to start with our spirituals. Now, spirituals were used to either sing during work to help the day go by a little bit better, or sung after to help lift up your spirits so that you could have the strength to keep going forward and fight toward freedom. In this song, there's a secret message that if you're listening carefully, it will tell you how you can escape north to freedom. So this song is called Follow the Drinking Gourd. Now, the drinking gourd is a pattern in the stars, and it's called the Big Dipper or the Big Bear. And if you're following the drinking gourd or the Big Dipper, then you can follow the handle north to freedom. It points north. And so that's how you can tell which direction you're walking in when it's dark outside. Another way that they would used to travel on the Underground Railroad was by following these trail markers of a left foot and a peg foot left by Peg Leg Joe, who was one of the conductors on the Underground Railroad. Now, the Underground Railroad wasn't an actual railroad. It was a series of houses where people traveling north to freedom would stay at and they would be protected till they could safely go to the next house. And slowly and surely, thousands of people made their way north to freedom on the Underground Railroad. And the most famous conductor on the un Underground Railroad was Harriet Tubman. And fun fact, we might see Harriet Tubman make an appearance in a few years on our $20 bill. Pretty exciting. Okay, what do you think? Can we read this story? Let's read this story together. Here we go! This is a book called Follow the Drinking Gourd, and it's written by Jeanette Winter. Follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man's waiting for to carry us to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. Long ago, before the Civil War, there was an old sailor named Peg Leg Joe, who did what he could to help free the slaves. Joe had a plan. He'd use hammer and nail and saw and work for the master, the man who owned the slaves on the cotton plantation. Joe had a plan. At night, when the work was done, he'd teach the slaves a song that secretly told the way to freedom. Just follow the drinking gourd, it said. When the song was learned and sung all day, Peg Leg Joe would slip away to work for another master and teach the song again. One day, a slave called Molly saw her man James sold to another master. James would be taken away and their family torn apart. Just one more night together. A quail called in the trees that night. Molly and James remembered Joe's song, and they sang it low. They looked to the sky and saw the stars. When the sun come back, and the first quail call, follow. For the old man is a waiting for to carry us to freedom if you follow the drinking gold. Taking their son Isaiah, old Hattie, and her grandson George, Molly and James set forth for freedom that very night, following the stars of the drinking gourd. 
they ran all night through the fields till they crossed the stream in the woods. When daylight came, they hid in the trees, watching, listening, for the master's hounds set loose to find them. But the dogs lost the runaway scent at the stream, and Molly and James and Isaiah, old Hattie and young George, were not found. They hid all day in the woods. At night they walked again, singing Joe's song and looking for the signs that marked the trail. The river bank make a very good road. The dead trees show you the way. Left foot, head foot, going on. Follow the drinking go. Follow the drinking go. Follow the drinking go. Dipper in the sky keeps pouring. Old man's a waiting for to carry us to freedom. Follow the drinking go. Walking by night. Sleeping by day, for weeks they traveled on. Sometimes berries to pick and corn to snatch. Sometimes fish to catch. Sometimes empty bellies to sleep on. Sometimes no stars to guide the way. They never knew what lay ahead. There was danger from men who would send them back, and danger from hungry beasts. But sometimes a kind deed was done. One day, as they hid in the thicket, a boy from a farm found them. In a bag of feed for the hogs in the woods, he brought bacon and cornbread to share. Singing low, they traveled on. On and on they followed the trail to the river's end. From the top of the hill they saw a new path, another river beneath the stars, to lead them to the freedom land. The drinking gourd led them on. The song was almost done. Point to the North Star of Freedom, where the great big river Point to the North Star of Freedom, where the great river meets a little Left foot, peg foot, going on, follow the drinking in Then they climbed the last hill. Down below was Peg Lake Joe, waiting at the wide Ohio River to carry them across. Their spirits rose as they saw the old man. Molly and James, Isaiah and old Hattie and George ran to the shore. Under a starry sky, Joe rowed them across the wide Ohio River. He told them of hiding places where they would be safe. A path of houses stretched like a train on a secret track leading north to Canada. He called it the Underground Railroad. It carried riders to freedom. The first safe house stood on the hill. The lamp was lit, which meant it was safe to come. Ragged and weary, they waited while Joe signaled low with a hoot like an owl. Hoot, hoot. Then the door opened wide to welcome the freedom travelers. They were rushed through the house to the barn, for the farmers knew there were slave catchers near. A trap door in the floor took them under the barn to hide till it was safe to move. Then Pegleg Joe went back to the river to meet others who followed the drinking gourd. With danger still near, too close for ease, the farmer sent the five travelers on. He drew a map that showed the way north on the midnight road to the next safe house, just over two hills. This time, James called the signal, a hoot like an owl. Hoot, hoot. 
that opened the door for a Quaker farm. The travelers were led to a secret room, hidden behind shelves. They rested here for many days and healed their wounds. Soft beds, full meals, new clothes, hot baths washed away some of the fear and pain. Isaiah smiled. When they were stronger, they traveled again from house to house on the Underground Railroad, still following the drinking gourd north. Sometimes they traveled on foot, sometimes by cart. The wagon they rode near their journey's end carried fruit to the market and the runaways to freedom. At last, they came to the shores of Lake Erie. Molly, James, Isaiah, and old Hattie and young George climbed aboard a steamship that would carry them across to Canada to freedom. Five more souls are safe, old Hattie cried. The sun shone bright when they stepped on land. They had followed the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. And there's Harriet Tubman waiting for to carry us freedom when we follow the drinking gourd. music class with the goodbye song. Ready? The music time is over. The music time is over. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye until the next time. Goodbye until the next time. Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye everyone and I'll see you next week. Bye.